Greetings in the name of our Lord. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning in Columbus. I'm at Trinity Church, Capitol Square, right across the street from the capital of Ohio. And being here makes me think about um, the, the relationship between religion and politics, something we often avoid talking about. Uh, certainly, we're all, we're all living through a, a, a very tense and difficult political season. Uh, and very often, the political conversations are, are uh, cynical and sometimes even nasty. And the last thing we want to talk about in church is politics. Often, we think about church as a place to, to get away from all that. But also, sometimes we want to get away from it because we're afraid of conflict, we're afraid of um, becoming aware of our own disagreements, and uh, it's natural that we do have all kinds of different perspectives on public policy. But we shouldn't be afraid to talk about those things in the context of our fellowship and friendship as, as fellow, fellow disciples of Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus doesn't call us into agreement, he calls us into conversation. And most deeply, uh, politics is something that we can embrace in the same way that we embrace connection. I think the Episcopal Church especially has a, at its best a, tra a tradition of em embracing the, the, the potential sanctity holiness of political life. Politics is not something that we should be afraid of. It's not something, it's not something dirty, it's not something sinful. I think especially in the uh, tradition of the Episcopal Church at its best, Politics is something that actually can be holy. It can be the public expression of our desire to talk things through, to persuade one, one another to what we think is the best way to go forward, and sometimes to allow ourselves to be persuaded by others, to go in directions that we did not, did not expect. Uh, the word politics itself comes from the Greek word for city. Uh, politics is the, is the kind of conversation that lifts up the beauty of our life together as human beings, that, that God created us for conversation. He created us for, uh, for public life. He created us for togetherness in, in the best way. And the Bible itself understands the city as a, as a profound image of the kingdom of God. So in this political season, let's continue to pray for civility in our political life. Let's continue to give thanks to God for the gift of freedom, the gift that we are, have been given as Americans to, to exercise our capacity and freedom to take part in political conversation. And let us ask for God's guidance to lead us as a church to be a truly and authentically a, a voice of conscience and a model for civil conversation in our nation. Thanks very much.